Hey guys, tomorrow's update day, so today I wanted to talk about what we're expecting to see, what the developers put out on socials, and what's in the patch notes, which I will be sure to link in the comments below. So with that, let's get started. So since the release of the 2023 updated roadmap, we've been expecting Vanellope to race into the valley following the June update with Fairy Godmother. Originally, a princess racing into the valley was released on the first roadmap with the reveal of the Forgetting, but since then the developers split up the updates and now we have a mini update happening in the middle of summer tomorrow. Each image of Vanellope features her on the beach since this is the summer update, but I'm wondering if some of the new items in the update will be summer themed to go with it. Taking a look at the key art, our character is holding a boba drink and everything around us looks like items we've already had in the valley, like surfboards and hammock. Everything's familiar except for Vanellope's Candy Mountain house and her candy race car, which I'm assuming will be the high reward item in her friendship quests. This house is nuts looking and you know I love to keep my valley looking more natural, so where on earth am I going to put this house? This will be a challenge, so if any of you have suggestions, I'm begging you to drop those in the comments below. Not only are the developers using this update to introduce Vanellope, they are also focusing on dropping their newest feature called Dream Snaps, which is actually what the update is called. In a few Twitter updates, the developers explained a little more about what Dream Snaps are, saying, Beginning with the Dream Snaps update, you'll receive a new challenge each week where you'll be given a task to take a photo that meets specific requirements in the valley. Want a hint for week one? And then there's a crown and a castle emoji. I am so bad at these riddles and clues, but I'm assuming that this will be taking a photo of a princess inside the dreamlike castle, maybe? The second one they released uh, or tweeted is the Dream Snaps update is coming soon and with it a brand new way to flex your creativity and earn exciting rewards. One, submit a photo uh, in weekly challenges, and two, vote on your favorites, and three, earn weekly moonstones and more. Then they continue in the thread. This new method of bringing content to the game specifically focuses on the new feature that will continue to receive updates and evolve over the coming months. Think of it as a small scale treat to tide you over between major content updates. And then finally, we think Dream Snaps will make your time in the valley even more rewarding and can't wait to hear what you think. Your feedback will be hugely important as we refine Dream Snaps over the coming updates, so stay tuned for more. They're really trying to figure out what to do for us between updates since we all scramble through the content and then get bored right away. I really appreciate and enjoy the daily and weekly challenges, and I like the idea of the last Disney Parks community challenge, so hopefully this is interesting and fun kind of like that. And then, this is one of the biggest pieces for me. They posted, question, who will be able to earn weekly moonstones? Answer, each week everyone who participates will earn a minimum of 300 moonstones. This amount can increase depending on your score and placement in that week's challenge. Even better, you can earn 50 more Moonstones per week by voting. This is a huge incentive to get involved with this update feature because like most of you know, the Moonstone prices and the premium shop prices have been very hot and controversial in this game. They are super high and you can only really find 50 to 100 Moonstones per day in the game. So let's quickly look through the patch notes that they released yesterday and see if there's anything that I didn't talk about. The very first thing highlights the dream snaps and rewards, but there is a note here that the touch of magic items, aka the customizable items, cannot be included in the submissions, and they say in order to keep the feature a fun environment for all players, which is really interesting. Um, so no customizable content, um, and I'm personally really bad at customizing content anyway, so I kind of appreciate them looking out for us non-creative players. Of course, Vanellope loads into the valley, bringing with her some sweet new friendship quests and items to earn. We expected this already. This is interesting. Hovering has been improved. It says the energy drain when hovering has been reduced by 80%, giving you more bang for your energy buck. That's kind of awesome. Um, it's a quality of life improvement that I didn't know I needed. Um, now an extra plate of food will last way longer. 
They list in a few bullets about overall improvements for Switch users because many Switch players have been avoiding the game due to frequent crashes. So they're disabling the video capture feature built into the Switch's hardware to help reduce crashes as well as improving overall stability. Um, I really hope this works for you Switch players because I've heard a lot of reports of the game being like practically unplayable on the Switch. And finally, the inventory of Scrooge McDuck's store has received a slight rebalance to reduce the chance of duplicates appearing. Thank God. I'm getting the most boring, same old, same old items, and I play nearly every day, so I'm excited for this. And hopefully it's a real rebalance and they're not just saying this. Then they have this list of bug fixes to improve the overall gameplay and fix certain quests. Nothing too crazy this time around since this is a smaller update. Um, it's probably the smallest update we've received so far. It's kind of like update 5.5. So um, let me know all your thoughts in the comments. Press the like button if you'd enjoy staying up to date with the Dreamlight Valley news. And I will be sure to link this in the description and check out those bug fixes since I didn't really go over them. It's just some for the quest. So if you're stuck on a quest, just take a look at that. Anyway, that's all I have today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.